I used to have violent dreams. Did you? Yeah, really violent. I don't have many more. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, some of the worst ones, like I had this one where I was driving my girlfriend home and as I turned the street, there was all these police and ambulance lights uh, right in front of my mm-hmm. house. So when I got there, um, all the people were trying to, the cops were trying to keep me out of the house. And it was the house I grew up in. And I walked through this house and I could see my family slaughtered. Oh my God. <clears throat> there were like body parts everywhere. And they asked me where my girlfriend was. I said, she's in the car, I don't want her coming in. Mm-hmm. And they looked at me and they said, she's not in the car. And as I went out, they're pulling her into the back of this oh police van with her handcuffs and as she's going in she just looks at me and smiles and then I <laughs> and then I wake up in this fucking cold sweat <laughs> was oh, she I, next what to the you? Fuck? yeah <clears throat> yeah oh I just slept with one eye open that night but you know like... this type of dream Jesus and she she used to we I always said it was like abduction sort of stuff because she would wake up over years she would get held down in bed and this thing would be over the top of her and it would open its mouth and this saliva would just come. But here's not the weird thing. The weird thing is is when she snapped out of it and she could actually get up. What's it called? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. She would always end up with a blood nose in oh. real. And she, you know, I'd be lying. I'd be, because I'm a, a night owl and I'd be yeah. watching a movie or doing something. And she'd come running about one o'clock Jesus. in the morning out of her room and come and hug me with a blood nose. And she said, I got attacked again. And Stacey, this happened over years. That is mad. Like regularly over years? Regularly like- over years. And it only stopped. It's It stopped, at, you know, about six years ago. She hasn't had anything since we've moved here. But it was in Sydney. Mm. It was when we first moved back here. Yeah. And I don't know. But, you know, at first it's a bad dream. Yeah. But the fact she would end up with blood noses. That freaked yeah, me out. Yeah, that is really like the fact that <clears throat> she's got physical that like, freaked physical me out. symptoms for it. Like, that's yeah, mad. yeah. So when I listen to spectrophilia, there yeah. could be many different sides completely, to it. Completely, 